Hey, we're visiting Epic member Sivan Lasers. Tell me about your lasers. What I'm seeing here, this looks kind of, not kind of, this looks amazing. So you're able to weld aluminum and copper with two different types of patterns? Do you yes, so yes, we understand it correctly. So we, we use dynamic beam shaping in order to create a weld geometry that is free of intermetallic mixing and will give you a larger uh, contact surface and uh, Good, uh, how should I say, good characteristics, avoiding uh, cracking in the long term. Wow, so you're able to manage the melt pool from what I understand? That's what we do. It's exactly what we're focusing on. We have different parameters. We can address each issue that you will have with the melt pool individually and then apply each of the measures literally at the same time because we switch with megahertz speed. Okay, so let's say I've got three different problems on my production line. Is Sivan Lasers, are you able to address those problems? Are you talking about three different problems in the production line or three different problems in the same project production same process? Same project. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. We, we, we will be able to provide you with a solution for each of the problems, one beam shape, a frequency, a set of parameters, as so I speak, for each problem, and then you turn them around or alternate them quickly so that you have all of the three becoming in effect for your application. So this similar material, Hard, very hard steels, hard to weld aluminium for hot, for instance, for hot cracking. All those materials become uh, possible uh, in, in, in a technology like this. So ultimately, what this is going to do is going to help reduce the cost of electrical vehicles because the production lines are more efficient. Would I do I understand that correctly? Uh, yeah, that's that's one of the effects. Uh, the other one is you get a higher reliability on the joints, so you get a better electrical performance out of the joint. So that, that's, that's issues you so, can basically cross. So better electrical performance ultimately transport, translates to better range, right, out of a battery pack. And doesn't that make it safer as well, uh, this precision safe, that you use? Safer, it gives you more longevity, you, you, don't have, you don't suffer resistance issues, so uh, yes, uh, you're, you're right. But do I have to reconfigure my production line, or is your system able to dynamically adapt? Um, well, you need to have the right focal, uh, the right beam steering system for that. But in that, if you have a regular production line, you want to retrofit it, that would be certainly possible. This is amazing, and, and this right here, I mean, now copper, there's huge sputtering issues. Did you file this down or something? Oh, no. Where's the sputter? There's no sputter. We, there's we, no sputter? When, How did you do this? When, when, by controlling the melt pool. If we can keep the pinhole, uh, the, the keyhole open, and manage the, the material flow, that way you don't get sputtered. You, you, you allow outgassing and you have uh, full control over the melt. This is absolutely amazing. Epic members drive the photonics revolution.